Today we are going to learn about a simple topic that is the mathematical operators. Mathematical operators. Okay. Or simply operators. An operator is a symbol for a rule for transforming a given mathematical function into another function. For example, you have a given mathematical function f of x and you want to convert this uh, given mathematical function to another function that is g of x. Okay. And in order to convert the f of x to g of x, you have to do some mathematical operation over this function, right? And in order to represent that operation, you use, use a symbol here that is a cap. And after doing this operation, denoted by a cap, f of x is converted to g of x. So this is a mathematical operation and that operation is denoted by a cap. Therefore, a cap is called an operator. Operator. Okay. For example, you can consider d by dx. Okay, this is an operator. When it stands alone, it doesn't have any meaning. But when this operator is written along with some function, for example, d by dx of uh, sin x, then it gets some meaning, right? Means this operator operates over this function and it gives another function that is cos x, okay? So this is an operator. d by dx is an operator. It is a differential operator. Or you can consider another operator that is uh, root, okay? This is a symbol. When its symbol stands alone, it doesn't have any meaning. But if you are putting some function under this symbol, for example, uh, x square, okay? Then that function is converted to x. So this symbol is a mathematical operator and that symbol denotes that the, it is uh, going to operate a function in such a way that after the operation we get the square root of that function okay so this is what is called a operator and uh, we are now going to uh, check some of the uh, algebra of the operators for for example we are going to check the uh, addition and subtraction of operators addition subtraction of operators addition or subtraction of operators okay so what is meant by addition or subtraction of operator you already know that operator is a symbol for a rule for transforming a given mathematical function into another function when what is called the addition of these symbols okay it actually means uh, it actually makes some mathematical sense i will explain you what is meant by the addition of operators. For example, you have two operators. One operator is a cap. a cap is equal to a log, log to the logarithm to the base e. So it, when it stands alone, it doesn't have any meaning. And there is uh, another operator b cap and b cap is equal to d, d by dx, d by dx. Okay, this is a differential operator. As you know, when it stands alone, it doesn't have any meaning. Then what is the addition of these two operators? That is a cap plus b cap. Okay. A cap plus b cap is equal to log e plus d by dx. So when you are writing like this, it doesn't make any sense. What is log plus d by dx? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because it is not associated with some function. Whenever it is associated with some mathematical function, it makes sense and it starts to operate over that function. For example, we can associate a function with this one in the form like a cap plus b cap of uh, f of x. Okay. Here we are choosing f of x uh, as, uh, uh, for example, x square. f of x is equal to x square in this case. And then what is a cap b cap f of x? Then a cap b cap f of x. This means log e plus d by dx 
okay this is the addition of two operators and f of x f of x is x square what does it mean it means that it is log e x square plus d by dx of uh, x square okay log e x square is 2 log e x 2 log e x plus d by dx of x square is equal to 2x right so we have got some result so the function x square is now converted this function x square is now converted to a completely different function that is 2 log x plus 2x okay it is converted to 2 log x plus 2x uh, not alone by log and not alone by d by dx it is converted to this function by the combination of log and d by dx the combination is such a way that the operators are added up okay so log e plus b by dx of x square is equal to 2 log e x plus 2x here we can consider this as the addition of the operators so how can we write the addition of the operators in another way in generalized form we can write a cap plus b cap into f of x f of x is equal to a cap f of x a cap f of x plus b cap f of x and that is equal to gx plus kx okay so that is uh, the uh, the new function so f of x was the original function and now the new function is gx plus kx okay so now I, you understand what is meant by the addition of operators in the same way you can understand the subtraction of operators so you have to just uh, uh, give the subtraction sign here or negative sign here instead of the positive sign here then you will get the result okay that's called the addition or subtraction of the operators and now we can um, um, we can go for the multiplication of the operators multiplication multiplication of operators so what is meant by multiplication for example we are going to multiply a cap and b cap this is the multiplication of the operators and what is meant by a cap b cap a cap b cap f of x okay it, 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 it gets some meaning when only when it is associated with some function f of x so what is the meaning of this one a cap b cap f of x here we can say that the two functions uh, two operators are written in such a form that it appears like multiplied okay it just means that you are operating f of x with b cap first okay what you are doing you are operating f of x with b cap f of x with the b cap first and after that operation whatever function you are getting as the result you are operating that function with a cap that is the meaning of it so the multiplication of the two multiplication of two operators means operation by two operators one after the other the order is very important the order uh, is from right to left so multiplication of the operator multiplication of two operators means operation by two operators operation by two operators one after the other okay the order of operation being from right to left order of operation being from right to left that is what is called a multiplication of uh, operators for example we can consider uh, two operators for example uh, let us take uh, a cap is equal to 4x square and uh, b cap is equal to um, d by dx okay and uh, f of x is equal to um, a x cube a x cube okay we have two operators and a function so what is a cap b cap f of x a cap b cap f of x is equal to 4 x square uh, b cap is d by dx and f of x is equal to a x cube right so what does it mean first we have to operate this function a x cube with the differential operator d by dx so 
we keep for x square intact without doing anything and then we are we are going to use this operator to operate over this function so what is the first derivative of a x cube that is equal to 3 a x square right 3 a x square so now we have a new function 3 a x square obtained by operating the right operator with the function now we are going to operate with the left operator what is left operator for square you may be wondering what type of an operator it is okay you may be thinking like yeah for x square why it is an operator it is a function only right yeah it's a function of x that's true uh, but at the same time it's an operator it just means that it's a multiplication operator it means if you are if you are seeing something like this 4x square or 3x or simply 5 or 4 something like that it means that that uh, that step is going to be multiplied with uh, the function following okay here 4x square is going to be multiplied with the stuff which is being followed that is 3x square so this is a multiplication operator so what is the result of this operation 4x square is multiplied with the 3x square then you get 12 a x cube so you got another function 12 a x cube so the function a x cube is uh, is not a cube x raised to 4 sorry uh, so function a x cube is converted to 12 a x raised to 4 12 a x raised to 4 how it is being converted by using two operators in, in a multiplication manner right a cap and b cap in a multiplication manner so now you understand what is meant by multiplication of operators so multiplication of two operators means operation by two operators one after the other the order of operation being from right to left okay so now we can also understand what is meant by the square of an operator square of an operator for example if you see something like this what is the meaning of this one so it will not have any meaning if it stands alone okay but but when it is associated with some some function then it will get some meaning right for what is a cap square f of x it just simply means that a cap a cap f of x it means a f of x is operated with a cap then that is followed by another operation with the next a cap okay then we can say that it is the square of the operators okay square of the operator for example we can we can consider a cap is equal to b by dx so obviously a cap square you can write it to something like b by dx uh, square okay that that what does it mean so yes cap square uh, uh, f, f of x let f of x be f of x be sin x okay then a cap square f of x f of x is equal to uh, what is that a cap a cap f of x a cap a cap f of x and that is equal to in our case d by dx of d by dx f of x is equal to sin x so you have to operate this first so f of x of sin x is equal to cos x so you can write it like a d by dx of uh, cos x so d by dx of cos x now you go to the next uh, a cap that is d by dx of cos x that is equal to minus sin x okay so this is meant by the square of operator so square of operator just means that the same operator is applied successively twice okay same operator is applied successively twice so now i hope you understood what is meant by the addition subtraction and multiplication of operators and this is a very simple topic i gave you an introduction to this operator just because it is very important in quantum mechanics we are going to use a number of operators in quantum mechanics and it is very important to learn the second postulate of the quantum mechanics and do uh, some calculations okay and uh, in the next video we will learn about different types of operators and then we will follow that uh, with uh, uh, some the properties of, of some operators so i hope uh, I, you understood uh, uh, these uh, simple stuff uh, and if you have any doubt please don't hesitate to ask me 
I always want to say this, please write notes in a book while writing this lecture for a better understanding. Pause this video wherever you feel difficulty to understand the concept before proceeding further. Okay, so it is not just uh, it is not like just sit back and watch. If you sit back and watch, you will not be very confident while uh, writing the examination. You must make it as yours. Okay, it may it it may appear very simple, but uh, you have to master on it. So. You have to take a notebook and do this. Even if it is very simple, uh, you have to write it down. That is the best way to uh, learn quantum mechanics. Otherwise, if you are just watching this lecture in the same the same feeling of watching a TV show, at the end you will not have any experience with that, and when the examination comes, uh, you will feel a lot of limit difficulties. Okay, so take your notebook and start writing notes. Okay, when you are whenever you feel difficulty, just don't sit back and watch, uh, thinking that it will come uh, easier after some time. You just follow the video and try to understand what is set now. Okay, and after understanding, only proceed with uh, the video further. And uh, this is my advice. Okay, anyway, uh, I am stopping this video here. If you have any doubt, don't hesitate to ask me and uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned